Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm Alex. And welcome back to Kenny Cards. Uh, so, we've got something a little different today. Um, we've got some Commander decks, yep. some of the new Zendikar Rising ones. If I say new, they came out in like September, but it'll be interesting to kind of dig in and, and see what's in there. Uh, and that is that is what we're going to do. So, you you have no idea what's in these Not a clue. at the moment. Uh, beyond the nice little picture on the front, yeah. and there's a couple mentioned on the back as well. Yeah. Uh, and I guess, same for mine. I've heard these are incredible value for a commander deck. Oh, like, really? really, really unbelievably good. Well, really, it, isn't well, we're it? having a bit of trouble here. Same. Right, there we go. All right. So, what have we got? We have a deck box. Nice little card deck box, which I guess we'll do for for now. But I wonder if that's actually big enough to fit a thousand. Oh, that's kind of cute, though. Little pop-out deck box. Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah, check it out. There we go. I would probably keep these. Just, just because it's got the title on it. Yeah, I mean that's that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, just, it's cute. just for getting started. Here's the other one. So that that's the sneak attack. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So deck box comes with it. Uh, little. I think these are quite standard now, aren't they? You get the, yeah. the little life wheel with it. With the. I think we've got another one around here somewhere. I'm sure I've seen one. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's sorry. again. That's that's totally fine. Kind of cool. Little learn to play thing if it's your first commander deck, which is nice. Um, do you appreciate that? I do. As a oh, and it gives you a bit more details about um, about the deck itself. Ah, so there we go. Yeah, info sheet. If anyone cool. wants to pause and read that, cool. And then on to the actual, the good stuff. I think so, I'm missing some more standard stuff. Oh no, you do Yeah, if you pull yours out. out. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. The double-sided tokens. Which have, you get 10, 10 tokens? Looks a bit more than 10. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yep, so there's those. There's, All fairly standard stuff yeah. there. There's your foil on top. Yeah, and there's our, there's our two. There we go. There's our, there's our thumbnail. And a one. And uh, Oban? Oban? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I believe this is the better of the two. Uh, but don't like quote it. me on that. Yeah. It looks like it's um, intended for the... It's the rogues, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Whereas... I mean... Yeah. Elf's not exactly a bad tribe. No. Uh, but let's let's see. Let's, let's find out. Um... Do you want to go through your deck first, or...? Yeah, why not? See if I can get this open. Yeah. They're pretty easy to get open. Is that why I'm still struggling? Yeah. Oh. All right. Let's see if we can do oh, this. Oh, there we go. This must be thrilling viewing. What, the two of us packing Yeah, just struggling with packaging. <laughs> All right, go for it. Magic, I'll uh, pop mine packaging. just to one side. Right, let's see what we've got there. Right. I'm really interested. Take your time, because I'm... Oh, what's that? Oh, no, I, I, for some reason I thought that was the one that milled half the deck for a moment. Oh, you wish. Um, oh, that's oh cool. wow. Nice. I like the um, set symbol as well. I mean, I'll never yeah. remember it. No. They but I just... do like it. Yeah. They all just blur <gasps> into one for me. That's really li That's really nice art. Mm. Oh, a horror. And I've I've heard... So the decks are like, what? Go, the, going for like 20 quid at the most, I suppose. Yeah. 20 quid, say. And um, the value, I mean, that's an that's amazing, cute. that's such a good reprint. Uh, the, the value within these decks is, is way more than, than 20 quid. That's, oh, that's good. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so, I don't know. I, I kind of love the fact that that you can get these commander decks this cheap. I like commander decks. Yeah. Um simply because that's a good reprint then i don't have to build my own yeah it's a really good starting point isn't it yeah it is why is the set symbol that's... oh i see it no it's yeah, the yeah. same it just looks a little bit different yeah that's a it's the bit whole like, common uncommon thing i think yeah, yeah it just looked um with the with the uncommon it looks 
very different to mm. the common. Oh. Wow. Okay. It's, it's pretty decent so far. Yeah. I wonder how they play. That's the only thing I don't know. No, I don't. Um, Maybe we should have a game later. Test them out. Test them out. Yeah. See what we think. Because I've, I've played... Um, we've both played a couple of pre-cons before. Mm. Um, ah. Ha. Murder. Um, I really liked the Gabby pre-con. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gabby was decent. And then there was the other one with the dinosaur, Calamax. Yeah. That so was Eldraine, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Look at me, recognising yeah, where things you out. come from. I'm like a real player. That's a decent reprint. Hey, I mean, you've, always, you've got to have it, haven't you? Yep. Sphere's good, yep. Key runes are always decent. The land land and um, artifact base is going to be interesting. There's got to be a soul ring in here. There we go. You were saying? <laughs> yeah, if you, if you don't have yep. one in your command deck, what are you doing? Yeah, Why exactly. are you even trying? Do you know what? This is, this isn't bad. No, it's looking pretty good at the moment, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Cool. Now Rogue's Passage. God, it's had a lot of hasn't it? Printings. Been... Oh, and so there's that's some... yeah, that's from Zendikar Rising. Yeah. Just the standard boxes, I think. Interesting. I didn't know. But didn't I guess know they in there. they work in in the deck. Yeah, and we've got some land. And the rest will be basics, I guess. Yeah. Just have a little peek, see if there's anything. Nice art. I like that whirlpool effect. That is nice. Swamp looks swamps. pretty cool as well. Yeah. And I would, yeah, I would imagine there'll be some sort of advert card at the back. Maybe? On your... Oh, right, yeah. There we go. Just how to play. <laughs> Formats and what you can do on your turn. Cool. Which, again, I like that kind of thing, because if you are new to it, which if you're buying a pre-con deck, you may well be quite new to it. Mm. All right. Uh, so let's check out... So what's this one? This is Land's Wrath. Yes. All right. Wrath. Wrath. Is that not how you say it? Wrath? I think it's Wrath. Wrath? If you're in the UK and Wrath if you're American. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, because that's uh, a Simpsons hey. joke where it's like, here's the grapes and here's the Wrath. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's a really nice card. Oh, I love the old sagas. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. This one's not grabbing me immediately like the other one did. No. It's, it's okay, though. I mean, there's nothing... I think terrible. that's the thing, though. Anytime you've got... Um... Huh. Hey, hey. The, old, the old Omnath is in here. That is really interesting. The not-banned Omnath, I guess. The legal Omnath. The, yeah. The Why is there... A... Oh, this is weird. This is really weird. That's Sorry, I should probably move this up so people can actually see kind of what I'm going through. I think, though, the the problem is when you've got, um, what is this? It's black and blue, isn't it? Yeah. There's so many really good uh, cards and archetypes and things that work with that colour. Yeah. Maybe a bit less for, what is it, green well, and white? Well, I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? The more colours you add in, the more complicated it gets. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. Just. This seems better for first timers. And it seems like more fun. I think you would have more fun with a black and blue combo than you would with green and white. I guess, yeah. Cause there's nothing wrong with adding more colours, but you then need a better, you need yeah. such a better land base. You need, the, and, and you just don't get that with the precons. You um, don't get the land base you need. That's a that's a really nice that little. That is nice. Cool. And I found, I still consider myself a very new player, even though I've been playing since War of the Spark. Um, mm. I've only just started to play with four colours in a deck. Oh, Atraxa. Yep. Yeah. Soaring. Which is going okay, yeah. And then, yeah, the rest of this one is going to be gonna very standard. much the same. Yeah, a few sort of dual and, and other lands, and then oh, the panoramas. Guild gates. Guild gates and stuff like that. Yeah, nothing like I love the Guild Gate cards. They are beautiful. Yeah, they are. They are nice. So yeah, I only got a couple of uh, the sort of oh, Zendikar. Yeah, so it's, it's just a bit of a different lineup. And then what? Yeah, Forest. And yeah, there we go. Is, are there? Oh, yeah. I hadn't noticed the um, the red in there as well. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah. three colours in that. Huh, interesting. Cool. All right. Um... 
Final thoughts? I would definitely go with uh, Sneak Attack over, um, what's it, Nature's Wrath? Land's mm. Wrath. I would Land's definitely, wrath. definitely go with uh, Sneak Attack. Cool. Uh, I think I would as well. It looks, I mean, more consistent. More fun. Easier to play. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, as I say, they're both kind of cool. They're both incredible value for what you get. Um, and uh, shameless plug, they are available on our Candy Card store. Um, so with that being said, uh, thanks for watching everyone. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you next time. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.